Also, it's so hard to get everybody's schedules for game right. chasers. If this is the four of us, and right. we all know toys. I don't know a whole lot about video games. Or, or, or I don't. I know what I played as a kid. Watch the show once in a while, dirtbag. <laughs> I love toys just as much as any kid growing up. Uh, Star Wars, He-Man, Ninja Turtles. One thing though that that absolutely stood out and was was something that that was uh, really close for me was 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 Transformers. Uh, so much so that I made it a point to keep all my Transformers growing up, uh, and I still have those to this day. GI Joe. Um, I'm not that old to you know have the 12 inch dolls, but the three and a half inch, three, three quarter inch figures um, that came out of the 80s, that was it for me. I never really got into Mask or He-Man or some of the other big toy lines at the time. I was mainly just always focused on G.I. Joes and Transformers, robots and, and, and guys with guns. I mean, you can't go wrong. I also had a big thing for GoBots. Uh, some of you may already know that. I distinctly remember crystal clear the very first Transformer I got. It was actually this little guy right here. His name's Pipes. And uh, I think I got him because he did turn into um, an 18 wheeler um, rig and it reminded me of Optimus Prime. It just cost a whole lot less, so I was actually able to get it. I, I had a lot, a lot of G.I. Joe stuff. <sighs> Unfortunately, I don't anymore. My parents spoiled me with the G.I. Joe stuff. I woke up one Christmas morning, I had the USS Flag, the giant aircraft carrier, the sucker's six feet long, sitting right there on the patio. Uh, I don't know what has happened to all of it. Um, I think I might have lost it in a move. I was never one of those kids that thought about hanging on to any of that stuff. I always said, you know, I'm, I'm going, I'm going, um, I'm getting older. You know, I don't need these toys anymore. No, looking back on it, obviously pretty, pretty stupid. But you know, as a kid, you don't think about those things. All of our, our Star Wars figures growing up, uh, He-Man, Ninja Turtles, doesn't matter. All of it's gone, and nobody seems to know where it was. I stopped collecting probably when I was around 10 or 11, I want to say, you know, and after that I didn't collect anything. These things have been holed up in a, in a, in wooden chests for about 20 years or so. Um, All right, just talk, talk about some of the key ones. Hey, don't tell me what to do. I have a decent amount, I think, but uh, it would be nice to, to collect some of those ones that I always wanted as a kid but was never able to get my hands on. My main mission is to essentially get most of the toys I had as a kid because those are the, those are the ones that I have a connection with. Now I've got the money to start getting some of this stuff back. So here we go. I always wish as a kid that they made that there was a Unicron. And they did have a, uh, a prototype in Japan, but I don't think it was ever mass produced. Because remember I had some photocopies of some picture of it, remember? Uh -huh. Back in like 1989 or something. Well, didn't they take those and or make two the toy in like the 2000s? No, it was a different... different. Yeah, nobody wants no remake crap, though. Yeah, back in the day. And I always wished that, that they made a, an Alpha Trion toy, and they never did. Back in the day, those were the ones that I always wished I had. What about Megatron? You never have a... You don't have I, a Megatron. Yeah, I know. I didn't have a Megatron, but the toy looked like crap. The toy did look like crap. I mean, it, was, it wasn't it was as bad as Ironhide, but... Ironhide. <laughs> it, it was not pretty looking, you know? So Billy ran across this guy on Craigslist. His name's Van. This guy is supposed to have a bunch of G1 Transformers. So as soon as he opens the door, I immediately recognize this guy. He's selling toys at the Comic-Con every year here in Dallas. You've probably seen us going around with the camera over there at the sci-fi conventions. Then. I'm so busy, dude, yeah. man. I, I barely see who goes in there. Yeah, so. I got you. you. know him or you just No, recognize I him? recognize him. I almost bought, actually, I, I think a, um, uh, a Skywarp, no, a Thrust from him, I think, almost at one point. Now's your chance, I guess, huh? I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, guys. All right, awesome. We go into Van's toy room, and immediately I just see these plastic totes uh, filled to the brim with toys. I'm seeing figures here that I've only seen in, in paper brochures and whatnot. I've never actually seen in real life. Everything in here, man, dude, is, is for sale. I'm in hog heaven at this point. This is why we're here. Let's dive in. Two big buckets full of transformers, and we are digging right into them like vultures. Boom, immediately see a couple of sky fires or jet fires, however you want to call them. 
Uh, this is one of the ones that I remember having as a kid. I have some fond memories of. I want to try to make a play on them. Depends on the condition wise. Yeah, that one's a little yellow. Yeah, yellowing. This, one. this one's a little better condition. This one probably like 20, 30 bucks. That's about it. Okay. Doesn't have all the accessories, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. This thing usually goes for a lot more online. I try to cut my price down to where the average Joe can come and say, okay, you know, I think I can afford it. Well, that's good because we're average Joes. Yeah, you know what I mean? So 25 Holy on cup. Holy crap. I had that. Wow. That's a little watch. Wow. <laughs> do you remember that? Yes, I do. Mine was red. How much do you want for that? Just give me five bucks for it. That is, that is the coolest thing. I was actually funny enough just thinking about this guy like a month ago. Because he went on a little plastic watch, you know, and he'd snap yeah, on and it has, off. It has a strap that, that it comes with. That I, had is, one, I had one that was complete uh, on my last show. I sold to a G.I. Joe fan. I mean, a Transformer oh. fan. He saw it and he's like, holy crap, you know. That is the funniest thing. I, this, this, this is, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm seriously going to have to think about this one. That is, that is the well, neatest for five thing. five bucks, you don't think about okay, it. You just you get just it. Do it. What'd you say you were at on Rodimus? I mean, yeah, Rodimus Prime. Yeah, I'd do, I'd do 30 on him. Hot rod? I had 35. Is that hot rod or is yeah, that hot rod? Okay. He's asking $30 for this hot rod. No, there are different variations for the hot rod. Some actually come with plastic feet and they're not worth as much. Uh, some come with metal. This one actually has the metal feet. Um, you know, I'm, I'm that nine-year-old at Toys R Us at this moment, you know, so I want this figure, so I'm more than willing to pay that much. Never had a rod on this. How much for cup? Cup, rod. cup, he's uh, 25, I'll do 25 on cup. How much for hoist? I do 15 on him. 15 for hoist. Yeah, he's, he's missing his fist. Thing is, I don't think he's, he's missing a fist. Overall, it's a good condition. Like, yeah. Nothing broken. Up. Holy he's, crap. He's in box. I don't know if I can afford that thing. In box Optimus. Just out of curiosity. 100 bucks. That's cheap. Yeah, I know it's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of broken up a little bit. It's missing a lot of parts and broken pieces on it. You mean I can just have it? Have yeah, it? you can have it, man. I, I got no use for it. Well, heck yeah, man, I'll take it. Screw you! When you put them together, it stands about this high. That's nice. So, and it's, it's pretty bulky. This is probably one of the best uh, combiners they have on the G1. I mean, that's, I mean, if you even the new one, the reissue one, is like 300 bucks. I guess old habits die hard. Um, the thing that's really sticking out to me right now are these four or five NES games that Van has. I know. What do you add on these games? Um, dude, make me an offer, man. <laughs> uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't collect games. What'd you pay for them? Uh, I, you just make me an offer and we'll go. <laughs> <laughs> the main thing I want from this lot of NES games is the box Zelda. Um, I do not have any boxed NES Zelda title. I have them loose, but I do not have them boxed. What do I do? Do I start extremely low and piss them off, or <laughs> do I start a little higher? You're not gonna piss me off, man. I mean, I'm 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 a reasonable guy. Got to start twenty for the lot. Got to start somewhere. Lot. I'm actually surprised you gave him a decent offer. I know, right? He's contemplating. He's thinking too long. I'll, you... bu I'll bump to thirty for the lot. You do thirty-five. I'll do 35. Right. Let's go on that. I'm happy with it. So I'm looking around and I'm I'm seeing a couple of jet fires. I'm seeing a, I'm seeing a sound wave, and and that it was like put the brakes on. It's like Arr! I'm seriously considering the sound wave also, just because that's in so much better condition than mine. I have a sound wave, but he's he's not in the greatest condition actually. He's he's <laughs> he looks like a, a zombie. Same thing with the hoist. I have him also, but uh, both of mine are in pretty bad shape. Like my sound wave doesn't even have the the plastic uh, um, chest piece. Yeah, the chest piece. So it's all it's all about condition when you you know selling these old toys. And okay, so you told me you told me twenty five on the cup. <coughs> right. Will you go down to twenty on it? Yeah, I do 24. Okay, so that puts me at 60 total right here. That's cool. 
Cups that, for you. Merry Christmas, by the way. All right. <laughs> It was like the Grinch, his, his heart actually grew a little bit. I was actually stunned, it was it was quite a moment. Of all the vintage stuff, Transformers was definitely not top on my list. Uh, probably wouldn't have even been top five. Was it 30 or 35 for? 35. 35, okay. 75. I also run across um, a, a plastic bag full of, of the old pamphlets and instruction booklets from some of these old figures. These three right here are the downshift camshaft and overdrive. I remember I wanted to order them and I never had the money at the time. I did try ordering a uh, Sunstreaker here. Right. And about four to six weeks later, I get my money order returned because they said they sold out. This was like back in like 1980, 87 or something. I guess it was overstocked right. after they pulled them off the shelves. So he's wanting a dollar piece for these and there's 12 of them. I want to get these. I also want to get the Soundwave and I want to get the Sparkabot. And I want to get the Hot Rod. It puts you at 87. 87. 87, okay. I actually have 80 bucks on me right now. You think you could do all that for 80? Yeah, I do all, all those there for 80 bucks. Sweet. I'll do that. Including the, the yeah. papers? Yeah. Awesome. That's what I do with a lot of my customers and make them happy, man. Where are you on Skyfire? I think we would say 30, 35. Let me see, let me see the condition on it. Collecting first. Transformers is, is not cheap. It's not cheap at all. A lot of people are doing it, just like video games. So if you're gonna get into it, expect to throw down a little bit of money for it. A lot of money for it, actually. Um, so I'm limiting myself to only two things right now. I'm gonna be getting this Blitzwing. I'm also gonna be getting this Jetfire. Two things I had as a kid, and I've wanted them ever since. I so. do 60 for both of them. That's actually what I was had in my head back then. So 60 bucks for these two Transformers. You know, it's not a flea market deal, but it's a very fair deal. And uh, I'm happy because these are two things that I've wanted. No problem, man. Thank you, sir. I'm really happy with the purchases I made here at Vans. He's a reseller. He knows his stuff, but I think he's pretty fair with his pricing. It's not like we got uh, a Flintstones surprise at Donor Store Peak for five dollars or anything, but you know, I thought they were reasonable prices, and um, and I was pleased with it. Billy, if you break that, I'll, Will you knock I'll, it I'll off? break your head, dude. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Boy, it still got a little bit sweeter now, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It has his cannons in the back. <laughs> nice. The reason I want to collect toys is not to have some big bad collection but to show off. It's because I want that reconnection with my childhood where it, everything was just so much simpler. Hey, when, when Jason Brown sees this episode, he's gonna be like, oh! And I think that that's a reason why a lot of people do it. His thing is always, uh, G.I. Joe's, he loves masks, actually. He, he said he was a huge guy in a mask. Star Wars. Uh, yeah, no, it, dude, he has a lot of toys. I was over at this place uh, a couple of weeks ago. He has some cool stuff. Each time I pick up a Transformer, or, or a video game for that matter, it's, it's like a little time machine. He sold me. He sold me a, a, a job of the hut, and uh, oh crap! I think he's selling his stuff. He tells us now. He tells us now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bathe? Yeah, no, it's not one. You, you reek bad. Reek of what? I don't know. It's something you ate. Just funk. <laughs>